I will show you how to create an countdown date. So you can see this is the countdown date. So let's see how we can create this countdown date in Angular. So first of all, here I will go to my Visual Studio Code. This is the Visual Studio Code, and here is the TS file. And first of all, inside this TS file, I will call a new date. So here I will write a variable. Variable name is count down date equals to new date and parenthesis and semicolon and now i will copy this variable and i will show inside this html file by the interpolation so here i will write p tag and for the interpolation i will write a double curly braces and paste this variable and i will go to the browser so you can see it's showing the date but it's not a date format so for that angular has a features you can use date pipe so this is the pipe sign and here i will write a date this is the date pipe so now it's showing the period in date format so you can see here the two days it's showing the two days date march 21 2020 so now inside this ts file and inside this parenthesis we can pass here the static date so here i will pass a future date so march twenty four, two thousand twenty, and i will set a time also 15 hours 37 minutes and 25 seconds and here also dot get time because I have passed here also time so I have written here get time function also and I have set here future date as a static because our countdown date will be start from this March 24 date to today's date that means March 21 so our countdown date will be start from March 24 2020 and this is the time so now if i go to the browser so you can see it will be shown here the static date march 24 because i have set here the static date and now here i will write a variable so the variable is x you can write any name of this variable and inside this x variable i will write a set interval function so set inter well parenthesis again parenthesis and here equals to arrow because i have written here the arrow function because angular supports ECMAScript script six function so i have written here arrow function and i have stored this set interval function inside this x variable because i have to stop this set interval function when our countdown date will be end so for that i have stored this set interval function inside this x variable so now here where now inside this now variable i will store today's date so new date so in the previous i have shown new date function called today's date new date dot get time and parenthesis semicolon to separate this and now again i will write a variable where this 10 so first of all here i will zoom the size and i will decrease this left side panel so inside this distance variable i will write here countdown date that means future date minus now now means today's date so so you can see it's showing an error because this countdown date outside the function so here i have to write this dot countdown date 
so inside this distance variable i have stored here here the countdown date minus now today's date that means if future date is march 24 and today's date is march today's date is march 21 so i have stored inside this distance variable three days because i am i am minus count date that means countdown date that means march 24 to now now means today's date is 21 so 24 to 21 it's left three days and i have stored this inside this distance variable so, and now here i will write another variable days because i want to show the day hour minutes seconds separately that means how many days left in from our countdown date that means march 24 to march 21 today's date so inside this days variable i will show how many days left so days equals to math dot floor parenthesis and distance distance means this distance variable divide thousand into thousand means one second six hours 6 sorry 60 minutes 60 second into 24 days because inside in the 24 days it's one day on semicolon and in the same way I would like to have hours this is the variable equals to math dot Floor parenthesis and again parenthesis and the same distance percent thousand into sixty into sixty into twenty four. divide so here I will add a space divide thousand into sixty into sixty and semicolon and in the same way I will count minutes so minutes equals to math dot floor parenthesis distance percent thousand into sixty into sixty divide again parenthesis thousand into sixty and semicolon and again fat second equals to math dot floor distance percent thousand into sixty divide thousand and same column so this are the formulas to count our days, hours, minutes and seconds.
and now so I have to print this days hours minutes and second so for that just here I will remove now I will store this days hours minutes and also second inside another variable so for that just outside the function here I will write a variable variable name is demo and type is any and just here I will write this dot demo equals to and this demo variables is outside this set interval function so to access this demo variable I have to write here this so this dot demo equals to first days so days and here I will add a string so to add string I will add plus inverted comma d d means days so d and now plus then hours plus h then minutes m then plus seconds to s and now semicolon so I have stored this days hours minutes seconds inside this demo variable so I will copy this demo variable and instead of that counted variable here just I will paste it and now I don't need to date pipe so I will remove this save and here I will save again and now I will go to the browser so you can see it's starting countdown so you can see here it's counting and after two days it's counting two days so after two days it will be shown here the expired message so for that here I will write if condition so if distance distance means three days because again also the new date March 24 and today's uh, date is March 21 so inside this now variable I have stored here the today's date and inside this distance variable I have minus here the count date minus now now means today's date so it's left three days because March 24 to today's date is March 24 so it's left three days so when it's distance less than zero so then that means when the three days will be completed then here I will like this clear interval and inside this clear interval these dot x because I have stored the set and interval function inside this x variable so if I clear this x variable that means the clear set interval will be stopped it will not count it minus value minus date so this dot x and the message will be shown here this dot inside this demo variable equals to x by act
so now after completed this counter then it will be shown its expired message so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you like this video and want